And that's my dog tattoo. Again. <laughs> and we saw that in the end. Does your tattoo have the movement like? No, nope. it has. Wait, it has a bark. Oh, it has yeah. the barking like. And I put a little heart on top. Hawaii. Very first collection of our founder Nakamura, 1987, wow. December 28th. He went to the New York. He saw this artwork, and this is the beginning of our museum. Mm, oh my yeah. God, that's so cool. Before he started drawing in Subway, oh. and actually this disappeared. But before he died, he like remake it and expand it in this size. It's actually a notebook size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I noticed it says 90. Yes. So it's like the one of the more recent ones, right? I see, that's cool. And again, like with the paintings I'm noticing, like for example, this one's hugging, but you can't tell if the person's a guy or a girl yeah, or that's true. what gender they are. People hugging each other or like doing this like <laughs> his, his arms, uh -huh. like this. I think it symbolizes like harmony and like mm -hmm. connections between people. Oh, look at this. Stewie, stop. <laughs> I didn't notice it in the first glance. It's like very sexual, but not in a sexualized way. It's like yeah. sexual in a very normalized way. Yeah. It doesn't feel inappropriate. Yeah. In a way. Right? I really like the red bottle of water. <laughs> you can see that there's a lot of water in that red bottle of water. Red bottle of water. <laughs> I want to take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> this, I think, symbolizes that people come from sex. And sex has to be normalized. Because look, there's a huge dick, but people are coming out of it. So he's basically saying, in my opinion, he's basically saying that sex shouldn't be taboo because without sex, we wouldn't exist. That's true. Ooh, you ain't, you ain't. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell that he drew it while it was on the thing because it's dripping. Yes. He yes, didn't put it on the floor. Good point. That's true. Yeah, good point. Okay. Nice observation. Nice observation. Stop. <laughs> Poster, you can see it anywhere. This, these posters are for children. Whenever I see Keith Haring write things, yes. I'm like kind of amazed or like kind of get confused because, like you said, there's yes. no writings in a lot of his art. Yes. But he also makes it very available for everyone by making it so obvious as well. Like it just says, start reading. He doesn't make up any like you know captions. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. just like start reading. And like here as well, say that. Like yeah. it's so. Three South Africa. It's so simple, so it's like accessible to everyone. Yeah, you don't have to like guess the meaning. So like his range is very wide. Yeah. So what do you think about the museum? The museum made me feel a lot of type of ways. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I have been here before, mm -hmm. but in a weird way, I didn't know what to expect this time around because I feel like compared to last time, I had more time this time to like look at all the art and stuff. That's true, yeah. that's true. What was like your biggest emotion you felt throughout all the... I felt multiple emotions, like depending on each room. Like, I think with the dark room, like the very first one, uh -huh. I think it felt, um, in a way, like you could feel Keith Haring's, like, legacy almost, or something, in that room, and you could feel, like, what he was trying to convey, I think, in his life. Legacy. The word of the day is legacy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Since that was, like, the final chapter, like, it was the first room. That's true. Isn't it so cool that we started with the final chapter? Yeah. After that. Wait! We start with the end and we ended with the start. Right? Oh my god. Remember? That's true. <laughs> That's true. Stan, what was your biggest emotion? Well, my biggest emotion, Stewie, is inspired. Mm -hmm. I would say I was very inspired because, of course, I do art as well, but in a very different way. 
I'm like a content creator online and with my content as well and what I resonated with Keith Haring is through my content and through my passion like Keith Haring I'm able to be an activist mm -hmm. of what I stand for and believe in and I think just being like a queer content creator online is already an activism on its own just being myself is an activism on its own because it showcases who I am and shows people that there are people like me it also inspires people like me to be themselves and it is okay and people can succeed and that's what Keith Haring does as well with his art he's not necessarily like going out of his way to be an activist mm -hmm. but it is what he believes in he does all this art and it translates into activism that's true right? another thing I felt about his artwork like as a gay person myself like it felt very wait liberty. you're gay Just wait <laughs> are you <laughs> but yeah like as a gay person myself like it felt very liberating in a way or like very nice in a way that like a big artist is like not hiding his sexuality in his artwork like one of the parts too like um, around the beginning mm -hmm. of the museum you saw like the lights of the rainbow there I mm -hmm. think that was um, really nice and that's also true. like right off the bat it's about the LGBTQ bus yeah that's yeah true. and also in like his artwork of like the the bad boys mm -hmm. the one like he just like drew the penises and stuff like that and like I think that's really cool to see like a big artist just show those parts of being like sexuality and yeah. like, showing that it's not taboo. Yeah. And to think that these art pieces were not made in this generation. Mm -hmm. It was made like years and years and years ago when it was even more taboo to be gay. It was even more taboo to talk about sex. But he was not afraid of that. Mm -hmm. And somehow like his way of thinking is very ahead of its time mm -hmm. because his ideologies fit the now. That's true. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily fit when he was making it. Mm -hmm. So, in a sense, with his art, I feel like he might have been a pioneer in the gay art community. That's true. He is a very big inspiration to a lot of artists. Not only like painting artists, but artists like you and me. Because mm -hmm. we are artists in our own way. That's true. I so it's through art like this, like Keith Haring, and through museums like this that showcase that art, um, people are able to see the diversity and uh, everything is more normalized. Yes, because I'm sure a lot of people who I'm sure a lot of people who would come to this museum at first would be like, "Oh my god, this is so nasty. Like, yeah. why are there dicks everywhere?" But I want you guys to know that everything is intentional, like we said, and everything has meaning. I'm sure Keith Haring wasn't doing this to be like because he was horny or anything. Mm -hmm. There's actually like a meaning behind everything. I think for me, it inspired me more to be myself every day. Yeah. I think there's still that feeling of like being scared to let it all out mm -hmm. but I think like being in the museum today made me realize like it's okay like there's nothing to be <laughs> scared of. <laughs> that's true, yeah. that's true. I would rate this museum a solid 10 out of 10. <laughs> so yes, I would suggest everyone to come to Keith Harry Museum, the Nakamura Keith Harry Museum in Kobuchizawa. See you here! See you here! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!